Yer! What's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter, and Instagram followers? It's your boy No Name back at it again with another Giants video. Listen, y'all, I'm gonna try and get this up as quick as possible, so I might actually revert back to using Movie Maker just to edit this vid. Uh, because you know it's um, the processing of Movie Maker is way quicker than Premiere Pro. But um, listen, real quick before I get into the video, go check out my new podcast that I have up on Spotify and Anchor that I'm doing with my friend Farhan. You guys know him as the guy that created not only the banner for my channel, but the intro and outro video as well. In general, the whole aesthetic of the channel was created by him. Uh, it's just a podcast where it's really just two dudes sitting around talking about anything. The first episode, we talked about the DCEU, the DC Extended uh, Universe, their their cinematic universe. We talked about the rise and fall of it. It's a nice casual listen. Uh, go check it out. The link will be in the description below. Now then, the Giants finally, 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 finally kind of make some moves for the offseason and it seems like they're finally doing something with the roster as they cut both Kareem Martin and Alec Ogletree. Now then, of course, Kareem Martin was somebody that should have been cut a long time ago. Uh, many people forgot about him, forgot he was on the roster. When I made my free agency video about who we should cut, he was the last person on the list because he was a last minute addition because I forgot that he was on the team. Go back and check that video out. And uh, Alec Ogletree is somebody that we've all been expecting to be cut for a while now. I mean, some people want him gone from the moment he was signed, some after, some right after the 2018 season, but definitely after the disappointing he season he had in 2019, which was caused by you know some injury. But in general, Ogletree is at best an average middle linebacker. Uh, well, we thought or we knew he was going to get cut. His salary definitely wasn't, you know, what he was worth, what he was getting per year. And uh, in total, the Giants are saving $13 million now on the salary cap. So that raises us to around $74 million to spend in free agency. And just like I said in that free agency video where I talked about who we might be getting cut, I fully expect us to go and cut uh, maybe a Red Ellison. I talked about cutting possibly one of our centers, whether it's Spencer Pulley or um, John Jalapio, maybe a couple other role players. Uh, I fully expect this to get up around the 80 million, maybe 84 million dollar mark for the cap space, uh, which would put us at a nice, comfortable, cushiony, you know, a lot of room to work with. We could cover the draft. I mean, in fact, this 13 million dollar uh, addition to the cap right here covers what the Giants are, you know, projected to use in this upcoming draft. We're projected to use around 13 million dollars and. What a coincidence that Alec Ogletree and Kareem Martin's, uh, the, the space they free up for, for us is exactly that. Which, you know, basically leaves the cap space at around 60, 61 million, which is still a lot of money to spend in free agency. But I fully expect us to go and get, um, you know, and release some other players. Now then, while this is good and, you know, this is kind of like a very obvious move for Gelman to make, something that a lot of people have expected for a while, not really any surprising news here. The big thing is that now there's kind of a huge void at linebacker, specifically middle linebacker. Um, I think we all know that we were going to have to address the middle linebacker position both in the draft and free agency. Same with the outside linebacker because that's our edge rushing position. Right now it's definitely our weakest, I guess, the weakest core on the team. Before it was definitely debatable, you know, you could argue that it was a secondary, but now for the, for the sheer fact that we don't really have that many people there, the linebacking core is going to need to be looked at. We're going to need to target the middle linebacker position specifically because I already know for a fact that we're going to do something with the outside linebacker position, whether it's in free agency, whether it's in the draft. You know, The middle linebacker position is very thin right now. The only people that comes to mind immediately, and I'm not looking at the depth chart or anything, You know, this is really off the cuff. Uh, the only two people that come to mind is David Mayo and Ryan Connolly. And I'm sure there's other players there that for some reason you know, are kind of slipping through the cracks right now, slipping past my mind. But even then, those were kind of our two main dudes at the position last year also. And when you have R Ryan Connolly, a fifth round pick, who did perform well, I admit that, but very, very small sample size, and David Mayo, an undrafted free agent that we brought in who performed better than we expected. But I, I think David Mayo has a little too much hype around him. We have our Giants blinders on when we're talking about him. He's definitely a good backup. I don't think he's a starter by any means. When we have... Those two guys as our main guys at the middle linebacker position, you, you need to address it. 
right? And that's how it was last year before we cut these guys. Now that all the depth is gone, basically, we're de we're gonna need to not only find another starter to go beside Ryan Connolly. Oh, excuse me there. <laughs> not only another starter to go beside Ryan Connolly if he comes back healthy and performs like he did. Uh, we're also gonna need to find a lot of depth to go behind him. Now, does this mean we're gonna possibly target Isaiah Simmons in the draft? Yeah, of course it does. I mean, I don't think even before we cut these guys, I, I think everybody knew that Simmons was a very, you know, real and very reasonable possibility of a player that we could take. Uh, do I necessarily think this increases our chances of taking him? Not in my opinion. No, not really. I mean, it definitely looks like it because, like I said, we're very thin at the position now. But I think we're still, um, I think Gettleman is still going to go forward with his plan before he cut these guys. I believe this was definitely something he planned ahead of. Uh, whatever he does, he may take Simmons, he may take offensive tackle, he may trade down. I mean, it's kind of weird that these two things happen just within one day of each other. Gettleman relieving to, revealing to the public that he's willing to trade down, willing to talk to some other teams, possibly get down there, you know, gather some more uh, draft assets and take, you know, as many players as he can to try and tackle as many problems as he can. And then the next day we kind of let go of some players, which helps us in the long run for signing new new people, but also leaves a big hole at the middle linebacker position. I mean, to put a long story short, I don't necessarily think this puts emphasis on taking Isaiah Simmons. Uh, I can see why you would think that, but he's always been a possibility at number four. And I, no matter what, I think he's going to be a possibility throughout the draft. The guy is in my opinion, the second best defensive player in the draft for a reason and the most versatile defensive player in the draft. You know what? The most versatile player overall in the draft. As for Ogletree and Martin, I mean, you know what? I wish them the very best in their, you know, future endeavors, whether they continue to play football. I mean, I fully expect Alec Ogletree to continue to play football. He's still fairly young, um, hasn't hit the wrong side of 30 yet. I'm pretty sure any team would pick him up. That's really desperate at the middle linebacker position. He could probably be a good number two there. Uh, maybe they're definitely going to give him a small contract than what he had with the Giants. Curry Martin, not so sure. He's kind of been off the field for about one and a half years now, maybe two full years. Even in the 2018 season, he didn't play that much. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get picked up, but whatever the case is, I wish them luck. They were Giants, whether or not we like it. Um, and because of that, I got to thank them for their services. As corny as it may seem, they were Giants, and I appreciate that. But Ogletree, you know, in his time here, like I said, he was average at best. Uh, you know, he had 170 tackles, two sacks, six interceptions, two defensive touchdowns. And then he finished last season with 80 tackles, six passes defended, and an interception. So, and that was only in 13 games. Like I said, he did have injuries, but that's not worth his money. Martin, who, Jesus Christ, had a $15 million contract with the Giants over three years. Didn't really do anything of note. So, yeah, man. I, didn't, I mean, yeah. Like, these are two really obvious releases. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, we definitely needed to address the middle linebacker position before this happened. And now it kind of just puts a little bit more emphasis on it. Um, I do think, you know, like I said, I don't think this necessarily means we're going to target Simmons more. Just because I, I believe Gettleman and I believe the staff, they aren't really in love with a player yet that could certainly change come april but i do think you know it definitely puts the middle linebacker position as a spot for them on their draft board it probably definitely jumped a couple other positions on the board but let me know what you guys think that's what i got for you all for now um like i said i'm gonna try and get this up as quickly as possible if you live in nyc and you know about the mta which is our public transportation system I absolutely hate it it made me get home like an extra hour late today which is also kind of why this video seems a bit rushed but um yeah i'm out for now you all right guys thanks for watching put your comments down below make sure you smash that like button subscribe and turn on post notifications until next time i'm out you